Unless you're new here, you probably already know that the Edutech Studios is proudly powered by STL Flix. STL Flix is like the Netflix of 3D printing, and they recently, within the last couple months, added filament to their lineup. What does that do for you? Well, it makes your life a lot easier. We're gonna talk about that today in a real quick video. First, I wanna say happy Easter, everybody. I really appreciate you guys tuning in, and I hope you guys have a great day. Now let's get to it. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge Attack. So like I said, besides being the Netflix of 3D printing, with over 2,500 exclusive XTLs and counting, and more than 80 new models a month being dropped, they now have filament to go with their models. Now they sent me a bunch of their filament, and I really appreciate that, but I didn't realize how easy this was going to make my life. Now I say that because not only do you get awesome models and a ton of them every month, now they show you exactly what filament they used to make the models that you see in the pictures on their website. I am terrible with choosing colors for projects that I'm printing. Like, I am really bad. I consult my wife, I go online and see what other people did, but I am just not good at that at all. And this just makes life so much easier for me or, or probably people like me. For example, take this bunny here. I think this thing came out so good. Uh, this was actually pr printed on a Prusa XL, just a heads up, uh, but it came out really, really good. And it was so easy because all I did was go to the model, as you see on the website. It showed me that they used uh, black, white, and pink filaments. I loaded these filaments into the printer and I just sent the model to the printer. That's it. No guesswork or anything. I was able to see exactly how they did it and make it look almost identical to what they showed on the pictures. And if you saw any of the shorts I made, this used to be full of Easter eggs and, and candy, but Kristen has picked the candy clean out of this thing, so nothing left for Easter, I guess. Now the same thing can be said for this candy dish right here. It told me to use the brown. I grabbed the brown, I tossed it in, and it looks, uh, it looks actually really, really good. This thing is like supposed to be a melted egg where it kind of like melted and oozed all over itself. As you can see, I still have candy in this one because this one was up high on a shelf and he couldn't reach it. But uh, super fun. Same thing with this egg right here. Um, this is like a, a ghost egg or a, an egg with like a, a sheet over it. What's cool about this one is that you can flip it over, open it up, and there are Easter eggs. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well... Whatever. There are Easter eggs in here um, in this one because I think Tristan forgot they were there. As soon as he sees this, he's going to be uh, finding them, I'm sure. But they're kind of hidden in the bottom. And this told us to use uh, what the, the white silk filament. I believe this one was printed on the uh, X1 Carbon uh, is, is this one. And I believe this was the an, an Elegu Centuri um, Carbon. So just a heads up on the printers I used. But yeah, I, I think it came out really good. I think all these models came out good. And the reason why they look so good is because I didn't have to decide what filaments to use. I was just told and printed them. It makes my life so much easier if that's the case. I really do like that STL Flix gives you everything you need to be successful with uh, pretty much all the models they have, including instructions how to print them, a video on how to print and assemble them if there's assembly. It gives you like a media kit if you have that package. Also, you can actually download the file straight into your slicer if you have certain slicers, which is super cool because it drops it right in and you're pretty much ready to go. And now with the filament, it makes it even easier. And not gonna lie, I have the artistic uh, aptitude of my four-year-old son. He's actually better than I am. So I really do appreciate that they help with the colors. Now, could you get crazy and, and, and substitute other colors? Of course you can. But this is just a great guideline to go on if you want to make some of the cool stuff just like they did. Uh, it just, for me, it's definitely a better thing. Let me know in the comments if you think this would help you or even if you think this is a good idea. Just a quick heads up, STL Flix does have a promotion going on right now where if you buy two or more of their filaments, you can get 30 days access for free. That is a crazy deal to get access to over 2,500 models. And there's a link in the description below if you want to go that way. Let me know if that interests you at all. I mean, 
for the price of two uh, rolls of filament, you can get a month of models, print anything you want, download and print them and show them off to your friends and just see if you even like the site. I think it's a great way to get started and check it out. Also, if you're a member of STL Flix, you get discounted filament, which is another awesome thing. So just for being a member, you get discounts on the filament that they offer. So something cool to check out again. Let me know in the comments what you think about this whole thing of, of showing the filaments and the colors that they use. STL Flix is, is really becoming the one-stop shop that you need for 3D printing. Uh, now with the models, with the filament, with the academy, with the store, everything you get for them in like one big package, especially if you're a beginner or someone who's selling models, this is, this is really good for you guys. So check it out. Again, there's a link in the description below. And happy Easter once again to everybody out there who, who celebrates Easter. I look forward to getting some more uh, printer videos. They're coming soon. You'll probably see some very soon because these are the first videos I'm filming in the new studio. And if you haven't seen this one right here, bam, you got to check that one out too.